I I need this. I I need this. Is it too? I need I need that. Okay, I I need that. Thank you, YouTube. Yeah, I need this. Let me uh. Oh, you have you found one on YouTube? Yeah, I found the for Blake. Yeah, I found the I found one for Blake on YouTube. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! And thing sucks! In five, four, three. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. We're gonna do it live today. We're gonna do it live today, man. What's going on, everybody? Lockout men in the building. Thank you, J Most. I appreciate that. In the building for you guys. Back again with another Lockout Man podcast slash interview slash topic. Yo, we gonna quit, man. So much stuff that went on this, in this past week. My girl, K Love, decided to stop by and voice her opinion. Now, disclaimer, disclaimer, this young lady got some very strong opinions, so. You may like it and you may not like it. I don't know. I don't know, but she's here to talk. She called me up or I called her up or we talked to each other. And now we're here. We're here. We're here. So welcome to the show. My name is Lockout Men and welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. The show where the train never stops. You know what I'm saying? Yo, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button when you come into play. Make sure you hit that all button because when I pop up, I pop up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I pop up. If you like to, if you like to hook your boy up and support the channel, yo, you can do that. The cash app and the and the coffee app is in the description. Dollar sign lockout me. That's me. What's up? What's up? I appreciate it. You know, hook your brother up with some coffee. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here at the McDonald's, so make sure I get something to drink. Thank you, Jay Most, for that $10 super chat. I really appreciate it. I'm going to take that and go over to McDonald's and get me something to eat with. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Welcome to the LOM community for being here on this uh, on this behind the scenes. <sighs> Crazy, man. We just gonna jump right into it. Yo, I'm gonna bring going to the show my girl, the original. There could be no other. I said it. There can't be no other. Houston's there own. Is no other. Houston's own. And she's a Dallas fan, y'all. So y'all some haters on some All Dallas. Right. If you hate us from some Dallas, she's gonna come and get you. <laughs> She's gonna come and get you. <laughs> Houston's own Kate Love in the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Kate. Yeah, Dallas all day. DCL for life, baby. DCL for life. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Chicago BBW, what's going on? What's going on? I'll watch it later. Welcome, K. Yeah, thank you, Chicago BBW. I'll leave it up for you so you can watch it, but. As always, the live feed of this part is always going to go down after the show, but I'll leave it up for you so you can catch up. Uh, this uh, podcast right here will be released sometime later, you know, later down the line, so you guys could actually see it in its full glory. Well, guys, I don't know if y'all been living under a rock or if you guys been not following the news, but, if, you know, us truck drivers, we have nothing else to do <laughs> but to follow the news, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Well, actually, Twitter, fuck a Twitter, but actually Instagram and Facebook, you know, we find majority these uh, stories in the trucking groups. And of course, us, us truck drivers have some strong opinions on what's going on in the world today. 
And then uh, today's topic, man, we 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 gonna go back and talk about two situations that happened in two different states involving just about the same thing. We're going to talk about Jacob S. Blake, the 29-year-old black man that was shot in, uh, shot behind uh, seven times by police up in Kenosha. And we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about Trayford Pellerin, the young man that was shot by police 11 times. Uh, he was 31. He was shot by police 11 times in Louisiana, Layford, Lafayette, Louisiana. Lafayette. Lafayette. Lafayette, Lafayette Louisiana. <sighs> it's, it's, you know, let, let me just start by, let me, let me just start by, uh, going back to uh Jacob Blake's story because that's the one that's 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 picking up some uh that's picking up some some feed uh Jacob Blake was uh walking uh he was seen walking to his car now this is all video this is video that we saw that's after the fact now you know me and K love we like to see situations before the fact you know we want to see what led up to that situation so we saw the after effect so we saw that blake was walking to his car uh he was walking to his car and uh for some odd reason he wasn't listening to the police uh you know police commands he got to the car the one officer that was holding his shirt let off seven shots in front of his kids that was already in the car. Uh, I got video of what led up to him in the getting a new look now at the weekend police the shooting in Wisconsin that's sparking those protests we saw tonight. That video just into our newsroom captured by, from a yard on the same street of the shooting where it happened. It shows Jacob Blake appearing to be on the ground beside the car before he's able to get up and start walking around to the front of the vehicle to the driver's seat. You can't see the officer shooting Blake in this footage, but six gunshots are heard before the video ends. Blake is in serious condition. Meantime, protesters and police are clashing now in a second night of demonstrations in Kenosha. This video from there, police have used flashbangs and uh, rubber bullets. Protesters have been seen lighting fires and setting off fire. Okay, so with that, uh, with that, K Love, what what do you got to say? Okay, um, first off, I wanna, I wanna let everybody know I am not heartless at all. Um, I'm praying for the family. I'm praying for the young, the young guy, the young boys that were that that were in the car. And I heard it was only three boys, young young boys in the car, but um, I saw a photo of four young young men um, with Mr. Blake, and I wanna. Uh, let the family know that I am praying with them and for them for strength and um, a prayer for recovery for him. And I also want to add that uh, my prayers are with those young guys, the young boys, because that is my number one thing is our future. And those young boys, uh, the three, had to see that. So um, I'm praying for um God to cover them and uh, protect them and um, strengthen their minds to be able to move forward in their lives. But um, with that being said, I also want to say that, you know, um, we don't know what happened. I, I Like you say, we don't, I, I would love to know what, was, what happened before, what caused him. Uh, they, uh, bystanders stated that he was, he broke up a fight. Okay. Mm -hmm. He did a good deed. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, 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 we appreciate that. Um, now, I want to know, if you broke up the fight and the police came, I want to know what came about in between that time for you to be struggling with the officers on the other side of the car. For you to, I saw, get up and staggle around the car. Um, mm -hmm. So, 
with that being said, I, it could have been a tussle. It could have been paid. I mean, I don't know. I, I read also that a bystander is stated, so don't hold me accountable for a new statement that a bystander, this is what I read, a bystander stated that he was paid. Um, but with that being said, I don't know that was said in the news or in the, in the reading. But I want to know what was the purpose of all of that. Um, and then for me, it's hard for me, I, you know, to know that, like I say, I uh, look for the kids as that's our future. We, 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 uh, teach our, we're teaching our young men, and if you're not, you need to be teaching your young men that our, your color is number one key to, that can get you killed nowadays by the police. So if that's what you're teaching your kids, why didn't you stop when this year stop? I'm not, again, not upholding the seven shots because I think that's ridiculous. It's overkill. But my question to you, because that was, that happened first. We're going to go, we're going to go what happened first. We can't go to what happened. I mean, we can, of course, because that's what we all do. But what happened first was you stopped the, you stopped the fight. And then, uh, you know, the tussle of whatever happened. And then on top of that, I'm quite sure, you know, they're telling you to stop, 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 but you don't stop. Okay. So, I mean, I'm not, again, not saying that they're not, they shouldn't be held accountable for what they've done. But I, what I want to know, I want to, Say is that we need to start somewhere with our own self. We still killing each other. We still uh, killing our young kids. We in Houston just had a, a another two year old that was killed um, almost almost the exact same way as Malia Davis. So we killing kids, and you know we we doing all of this as far as you know to ourselves. When are we going to start holding each other accountable for? Now. And then, go ahead. Now, my, you know, watching both situations, uh, Jacobs and uh, Trayford's, uh, Jacob, you know, as we've seen from the new video, looked like he was screaming, uh, having a confrontation with the cops on the other side of the car. All right, so we don't even know what was that uh, skirmish was about, but I, I was talking. Correct. I was talking. I, I'm not sure if that was you that mentioned it yesterday, or I was talking to somebody about uh, about him having his kids in the car. Now, you know, I think the baby mama was there, or the mama, or whatever the case was there. Uh, they were saying that well, you, you don't put your you don't put your kids in harm's way, but by him walking over to the car or you know walking over and trying to get into the car, he brought the harm to the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I you know I I, I couldn't say I, I wasn't sure you know I I I wasn't sure how to respond to that because. You know, me, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm from the old school and all like that, you know. But if a cop tells me to stop, don't move, get down on the ground, or whatever the case, I, I'm sorry, man. I'm I'm going to have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Especially with what we're, especially with what we're going through right now, the, the, the unjust killings that we're going through. Uh, the the talks that we're having to have with our young young younger kids, just as his uh, that was in the car, you know, you you want to lead by example. So with that being said, these kids could possibly grow up. I'm let me not make no assumptions, but it's just you know the fact that them seeing that they can be traumatized. They it, you can take that either or. You can take it for a good thing or you can take it for a bad thing. But you brought the you brought it to them. Me as the 
if if it was me, the husband, I mean, the wife or um, the baby mama or what 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 me whatever whichever would be for her. Me personally, if it was me, I would question you. And a lot of people tell me that I'm wrong for that. But as a mother, you put your child as a parent. Let me put let me put that in there. As a parent, you should put your child, your kids, important. And I understand when you have a lot of stuff going on, you, your mind is not right, and you're not really thinking. Then hearing is going. But I mean, my kids are in their car. I don't know what's going to happen. I They've say- been killing black men because of the color. I, I said I, I said plenty of times, always, that, you know, cops are not wired right. You know what I'm saying? They just they just not. You know, they're drilling in this they're they're drilling in this pumping. Their mind their mind's not rational in 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 high situations. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Most they're of not, them not correct. May, maybe Most they're of not, them are not made out. Right. Mo, mo, you know, maybe they're not trained right or something just snaps in their minds or something like that. But in, in a high right. situation, you know, they, you know, they get into a volatile situation and they assert their authority over you. Right. You see what I'm saying? And if right. you're not following their authority, their adrenaline and their mindset is going to get higher and higher and higher and higher. So but who, does he does does the man deserve getting shot seven times in the back? No, I mean, no, no, he doesn't. No one does. No one does. No and one. I mean, you know, seven times. Regardless ti- if he was white, pink, yellow, or orange, no right. one does. And and despite the fact that, you know, seven times though. That, that was seven obvious. seven times I mean, in the ridiculous. back. Like I, I can't you just feel that maybe one uh don't get mad at me, y'all. But do you think that? Uh, but would, do you think that uh, maybe once would have sufficed if that was the case? They gonna okay, say? Well, you ask that question. Mm-hmm. Let, let me let me ask let me ask you ask that question. And like he said, don't get mad at me. But let's say they didn't have the gas. Let's say they'd have beaten the gas. Hit him across the head and get the get the bullet up the stick and. He was in the hospital and died. Let's let's just assume that he'd have been they'd have been wrong for it. Hmm. Like I said, let, I mean, I'm just you know, it's kind of it's kind of a you know, if if situation because if you deadly force is deadly force regardless to you know which which way it went. Yes, they shot him seven times, but what if they hit him across uh, over the head with the with the with the stick? And caused uh, some kind of trauma to his head. Okay, okay. I mean, and he died that way. You know, I mean, I know he didn't die in this situation, but you know, they they was they would still be wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got you. I I got you. You know, D Nitty, what's going on, bro? He said one shot, one uh, one shot will never take a man down. Maybe that's true, but I'm just but, saying. You know, um, at close range, no. like they like at close. I was just about to say, no, yeah, at close, at range, close range, man. So. That, I mean, the, the dude Possibly. literally, the dude literally got shot in the back at close range. So I'm sure one bullet would have took that man down right then and there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but do, does he does he does he deserve to get shot for anything like that? No. We we can play well, we me and you can play armchair quarterback all day and and we could say what they shoulda coulda woulda have done but right. in, in reality at that time they're not they're they're thinking their thinking is to try to get the situation under control by any means necessary so should he so should he been tased maybe but I don't know. I digress. But the, let's let's let let me ask you this. I mean, is it under control when when he stops and communicate with them? Uh, is it under control when they let him go? I, I mean, give me give me a scenario. What 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 would you say would been? You know, it, it was it was under control. 
I, I will probably say maybe before he got around to the car. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. They had him down on the ground. I mean, from what you, you see, they, uh, the uh, spectators were saying that he was down on the ground. They were tussling on the other side of the on the other side of the car. Yeah, that's that's the video that that's the new video that we've seen. Uh, right. Maybe they could have. Maybe they could have got him back down on the ground. I mean, it was, it was, it, it, you know, it was a lot of and cops. And I also it, it read was a lot that of cops one, there. one, it was a lot of it cops. Was only saw two. No, it was, it was, it was a, it was more, it was more After cops. The fact? Yeah, it was more cops while he was walking okay. around. Um, while he was walking around, right. you know, they, you know, they, you know, the other cop was literally like right behind him. I mean, he could have right you know, behind him. That he was the one that I saw. He could have tackled him to get them down on the ground. I've seen most cops do that, I, you know, but they don't even do that no more. They don't even tell. Well, yes, they do. I, right. I've seen because a video. I've seen another video with a white, uh, with a white guy uh, being tackled uh, down to the ground uh, and wasn't no uh, fatalities there. But, you know, another thing too, uh, Keisha, the, the difference between, the interactions of black and white men. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of videos that a lot of these people be posting, you know, shows the difference of how a cop will react to a situation with a white man versus to a situation with a black man. Now I seen a video yesterday where the uh, white man had it, had a knife, two officers on the scene, guns drawn, Telling him, please put it down, please, please, please put it down. Uh, the guy, the him. guy, the the guy didn't put it down. He he came after the one cop. The one cop put him down with a couple of shots. The guy got back up. Got up. He what? got back up. He was put down with a couple of shots. I'm talking. About, it mm -hmm. sounds like about three, they four shot shots. Him twice. They, no, you know, it was it was two shots the first time. Oh, okay, and he the got time. back up. Got a hold of the cop. And that's mm -hmm. when the video went out. He got a hold of the cop. But people were saying in the comments that, oh, if that was a black man, he would have been put down way before. It would have been the seven shots off, off mode. Exactly. And that. It wouldn't have been two shots, three shots. It would have been the seven shots, just like they did uh Take a play. And that's the segue into the next black man. Uh his name was Trayford, Trayford Pilleran. He was walking down the street. He was walking down the street with a knife. And, you know, of course, people with their phones got out their cameras and they started recording. So we seen the after we see the after effect of what happened to him. So he was walking down the street with a knife. Cops all behind. This is a gang of cops. Cops in cars. Cops on foot. They followed this young man. They let me let me get, get some cliff notes for you guys. Uh, police in Lafayette, Louisiana, fired eleven shots at uh, Trayford. Witness said that he had a knife. He was tasered, but the taser didn't seem to have no effect. Um. Cops was called to a disturbance and pursued the man for about a mile and a half. They opened fire as he was going into a shell station. Now he had a knife. He had a weapon. He wasn't, uh, re, uh, wasn't responding to none of their commands. And he was about to get, he was about to go into the shell station with police called, an, uh, uh, Police called the weapon and they figured that they want to protect the public. If that's what they felt like they was doing, they let off with 11 rounds and put this guy down. He got shot 11 times. He was tasered. Yes. Wasn't following the proper procedures. But of course, as me and as me and K love say, we, we need to see what happened that that's before. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't uh D Nitty says he was walking he was walking towards the public. 
But yeah, he still he he had a knife in his hand. You know, he had a weapon. I mean, we seen people with with worse. We seen people with guns right. in their hands. We seen people with AR in their hands. He had we a saw the yeah. white man, as you just explained, the white man. The white man had, had a knife. The white man had a knife in his hand. He was going away from him. Yeah, he, you know, the white man was going coming at uh, attacking the cop. And the the black man was walking away from him. Uh hold on right quick. Let me see if I still got that video. Uh maybe we can listen uh listen to it right quick. Uh put the knife down. down. Put it down. Put okay, it down. Here, here's the video of the white man. He's not complying to command center. He's coming at us with a knife. Knife down. Knife down. Put the knife down, sir. Please. Put the knife down. Put it down, man. Please. We can help you out, man. We can help you. Please. Put it down. Put the knife down. Put it down. No. 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 Please don't. Now he's Simply steady walking. They he's down. still now he's still steady walking. And they they ain't take him down yet. They ain't shoot him yet. They they still hollering commands at him and he's not replying. I mean he's not responding. Put the knife down. You you hear that, Kayla? Put, 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 put it down. Put it down. Let me fast Please. forward because this, you know, they walk all the way to the end of the uh they walk all the way to the end of the uh, complex, and I'll I'll fast forward to the part where he starts to chase after him. All right, there you go. Now he's chasing at him. Now he's chasing. There you go. That, now that was about what six or seven shots right there. Took him down. He's down on the ground. He's down on the ground. Now he got back up. They didn't shoot him again. He got right back up. He got right back up. He got right back up. He's hurt. Now he's chasing. Now, now he caught the other cop. Now, and that's where the video, that's where the video goes out. That's where the video goes out at. So, what's, I mean, so what's the difference between that and this one right here? Oh, you you the man. Oh, look. We about to start busting. Hold on. Wait. Wait. We, 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 we got to witness this. We have to witness. Put the window down. We about to bust. We about to bust. Y'all, they put the window down. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. He got a knife. Oh. That man got a knife. They going to shoot him. No, we got to wait. We got to wait. No, but he got a fucking knife. Get on the ground. They tasing him, he not even doing nothing. He goes fast. So, oh my God! Yeah. What's what's the um what's the difference on that one? I mean, he was walking away, he got tased, he wasn't complying, and he got shot about eleven. 11 times. Uh, D Nitty says, analyze each situation differently without focus on black and white. All right. So without focusing, I agree. I agree. So, so without focusing on the black and white issue. So let's just focus on the black man. I mean, on the, on the man in general, one man was, was coming towards the, uh, coming towards the officer, not, responded to their uh commands not complying, not complying. Command. and he actually got a hold of the one officer and put that officer's life literally in danger while we got another man that could presumably be a threat to a to the public but he did not uh he was walking away from the cops I'm just saying I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
But we, as as I said before, we don't know the situation that happened. But my my thing is this, and back up to what you know what you said earlier, Caleb. You know, all of us, everybody, got to be accountable for their for their for uh, their actions. for their actions. You know what I'm saying? And Every- I understand that we want to put the we we want to we top and and they should be held higher standard. They should. I'm not. Ne- I'm never saying that they shouldn't. What I'm saying is. This is 2020. If you're not teaching your kids right now, and in 2020, this is eight months into 2020, if you have not been teaching your kids that has black complexion skin, or dark, or should I say dark complexion skin, to comply, keep your hands up, let them see that you don't have. I mean, you, the first thing you're telling your kids is to comply. That's what you should be teaching them, to comply. You won't be, I mean, as a whole, as a family, as a loved one, you cannot be mad at your loved one for doing what you have taught them to do, and they get killed that way. But me, if I teach you to comply and you comply and I mean don't comply I, I mean it's gonna, I, it's gonna hurt me to my heart and I, I'm quite sure anybody else that you're looking at your child or someone your loved one that's not complying what you have taught them since we have been seeing all our black men this hold, young man hold, has hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on okay love hold on hold on hold on D yeah, what up? Hold on right quick. All right, K, K Love. Um, All right, we we hey, got we we got D Nitty on the line. <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? All right, so D Nitty D D Nitty been heavy in the in the chat. Uh he's yeah. been heavy in the chat and he wants to okay. come on to chime on from his point of view now by by let you guys know that d nitty is a white man all right so we want to hear we want to hear bosnia Bosnia. yeah there we go bosnia so (laughs) d nitty man um as you said in the chat we shouldn't look at it as a black and white situation why all right yeah well first of all i'm an armed guard so i'm trained in this i don't know if you know that (laughs) but anyway so like so the thing is, you you got to look at the situations. Now, you got the one dude, the one that, remember, I, I think I sent you that video, the moment the, the guy chasing the cop and putting him in a headlock and about to cut his throat. So yes. they're in an open area. You understand? So they're going to treat it differently. There's nobody else that can be harmed. So the cops are handling it accordingly, trying to, they know he's suicidal. You know what I mean? So he's trying, they're trying to get him to, to, to give up. You know what I mean? Okay, hold, no it, one else hold, hold it, no hold it, hold it, hold it. Now you said, you, you said that they know, that he was suicidal. So he wanted it was suicide by cop. Right. Basically. Right. You know, and we heard the and we heard the guy, we heard him say, you know, do it, kill do me. it, do it, do it, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, and all like that. So, but yeah. what if but on the flip side of that, we saw uh a guy that was uh, we saw a man of color in the same situation, but he was taken down much earlier than that well you got you got to but but check this out but he he i'm not sure which one you're talking about the one we get in the car the one by the gas station no no not the no this station. is no no not not the gas station not the car this is this was uh earlier earlier in the year if not uh before the year started there was a there was a black a black guy getting shot down by the cop he had mental he had mental problems uh, cop told him to get down, get down. He kept coming towards, you know, kept coming towards the cop. He was about maybe about five feet, six, seven feet away. Um, uh, he kept advancing to the cop and the cop put him down before he even got to him. And he was, you know, he was kind of suicidal, too. So, so, so there's a, there's a, um, there's a, there's a thing called for uh, use of deadly force. If you have a weapon on you, say like the, the guy only had one weapon. It was one on one. All right. So, like, if you have a weapon, anybody, this this goes to anyone. If you have a weapon and you and you know and you let people know, I got a weapon. I'm about to use deadly force, 
and they keep advancing on you, and you're running out of room to go. You're basically getting back in the corner, or you're by yourself. You have no other option. Hey, you I can wanna, use deadly force. On I want to. I want to welcome. I want to welcome Ultra Violet One Eighty Five to the building. Thank you for uh, chiming okay. in. Home. She, Hold on, like I, let, I let, can let, I, can what, I, yeah, yeah, yeah let, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, yeah, yeah, I want, I want you to in a minute. Hold on. Uh, she says, okay. notice the language that's being used by the different, uh, by the different cops. Go ahead, K Love. Okay, first, I want to thank, uh, thank, what's the young, the young man? D, D, D Nitty. D, D, D Nitty. D Nitty. Yes, I want to thank you for your service. Um, and, and, and everything. Um, but I want to make understand that everyone, and I'm not, um, I'm not police force or police any any kind of protection or whatever. But I, I, I am a uh, licensed hand carrier. But um, I mean, I would take each situation different, and I agree with you on that. So when you stated that um, the young man was in the open still okay, he wasn't at harm's way, we don't know the other situation, and you really couldn't give a good um, answer to Lockout's question on, um, you know, why. But me, um, just let you know that each officer is going to take their situation a whole lot different. Yes, I understand that y'all are taught or y'all um, trained in a certain way. But when you're out there on the field, in the field, it, 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 it's a drill and go. I mean, I've been in a situation, trust me, I have I have uh, fired off my, my weapon at someone and yes, I have had to, you know, deal with that or whatnot, but at the same time, that situation is different, so you can't, and I, I understand that you can't treat, uh, treat each one of them the same, but what we're trying to do is understand that we have different mind frames here, and that's what he's trying to get you, what, what we're trying to get you to understand, the different mind frames of each individual, each police officer at the time that they're going through it. You understand what we're saying? No, I understand. I already, in the other conversations, me and, and Lockout explained that some cops are just not mentally, they're not, they come from weak environments. They're not, mm -hmm. they don't know how to handle a, a chaotic situation, so mm -hmm. they panic. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a known fact. But I'm not taking away from that. I'm not saying no one should be upset. It's a, it's a messed up situation. Mm -hmm. But, it, it, the, the, you know, so we're clear, like certain situations, like I said, like with that guy that ran into his car, mm -hmm. they don't know what's going on. They, he said he he had a knife and he's not compliant at all. They know he's not compliant, so he obviously wait doesn't wait wait. You talking about and now? You you, you you talking about Trey? When he got shot in the back? Uh, oh, the one. Oh, the guy got shot in the back. Take... But, but so he had but, but, but wait, also, wait wait he, he had he a, walked, no, no, he, he, no, he no, had a wait 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 no he, knife in his hand. He, no, the one with the 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 one with the car. He didn't have nothing in his hand. He didn't have. The, That's what I was told. Man. Yeah. No. 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 The the one with the car. Yeah. Yeah. The car. He didn't have nothing in his hand. Uh, I no, heard now. No. I heard. I heard what you heard because you 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 put it in the comments that he said he was going to get a gun, but we're not sure yeah. if that was even what said. Is. We we're not even sure right. if that was even said. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm you know gonna go how, through the video again, double yeah, and, you and know, look. Yeah, from you know I, how, what, from what I. What, uh -huh. What I'm saying is, if he, if he did have a knife and he wasn't compliant, that's one thing. And they're trying to be lenient and let, you know, letting him walk. Mm -hmm. And they walk through a car full of children mm -hmm. and reaches something, they're going to take him down in the heartbeat. That's right. Completely. And I agree. And I agree. If that was the situation, I agree. If, I agree if that I agree. was the situation, yep. but I yeah. didn't see that. Yeah. Because I didn't that, see that. Yeah. And now, yes, I gonna... did hear mm -hmm. a bystander. I'm not, and, and hear, hear me out because you're saying from what you're saying. hearing. Um, you know, from what you're hearing. I don't know where you're hearing it from. Um, I saw no knife. I heard of no, I'm going to get a gun. Mm -hmm. I read yeah. a, a bystander stated that he was tased. I've been, uh, I've been having to argue with uh, people, well, not argue, debate with people about that. A bystander, now I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. A bystander stated mm -hmm. that to the news that he was tased. 
Now, was he tased during the time he was down on the other side of the ground? I don't know. But what I did witness was the fact that he got up off of the ground on the other side of the car and he was staggering. Now, what he was staggering from, rather it was the tase or what, rather it was the fight from the, uh, the toaster with the officers. I have no idea. And I do agree with you. If he did have a knife, which I never saw as I was watching. Right. I never saw it. Now, I could have missed right. it also. But if he did have a knife, okay. Why take him down in the door? You see, he grabbed the door and opened it. You grabbed his shirt. He you grabbed his shirt. Mm-hmm. He grabbed But if you felt that, that it was they his don't know what in, reaching for. Okay, but if he said, I mean, correct. You said you you just stated that, you know, he someone said he he was going to get a gun. Now, if he said I, that. I'm, I'm, it, it's in everyone's best interest if, if you get into that situation, just don't move. Oh, that's it. Right, and, we, right. We said, and that's what we and that's what that, we're saying. Yeah, comply. We, we said yeah. that too, that, and you that know should happen first. We, and that's what I that's yeah. what I'm saying. That should happen first. We said yeah. we said that too about uh about not uh not complying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. We did you see that white kid that got shot in the hallway in the hotel? Did you see that? Because uh, he because he grabbed his pants he grabbed his pants fell while they told him to get on the ground. There was a there was a complaint saying that he had a gun in the hotel. The kid works for an extermination company. He has a pellet gun that he shoots uh, like birds or whatever, whatever animals like your pest. You know what I mean? Where was this? So where was this? so you could you could pull you could pull. I think it, was, it might have been Oklahoma. I'm not sure, but you could pull it right up. It'll pop right up because it's new. I, so I, what happens is he, he's he, he walk. He, you know they they give him his orders. They tell him to move. They said don't move. Just crawl to us no matter what. His pants started falling. So what he did, he, he reached behind his back and he went to go lift his pants and it looked like he was pulling the gun. They shot him dead right there. Now, you know, I, he had nothing on him, not, not one gun or anything. I, I want to go back to the uh, the car, Jacob. Uh, I want to go back to Jacob. And I got, the, I got the video or the video paused where you could see two officers, guns drawn, and the young man walking, um, around, walk, walking around the car. Now, as I'm going frame by frame, I I don't see no weapon in this man's hand. I I'm going frame by frame. The he I'm not doubting you. I just yeah, I, I gotta he goes, look again. He goes to the car. He opens up the door. As he opens up the door, the other officer, which happens to be white, grabs the back of his shirt. Now, as he's holding the back of his shirt, that's when he's shot the officer the young lady now the young lady comes into the frame you know screaming at the officer and then it goes you know then it goes off from there so yeah i i did not unfortunately i i, I did not see uh no weapon in his hand now uh did he say something uh did he say something that he was going to the car to you know get something yeah, we that's, can't we that's can't, what I, that's what i heard yeah we can't hear that either from 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 the video you know what i'm saying so where, and if you can if you can um where where um the, was that uh by bystander said that in the report it had, or was it, 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 it had to be it had, it had to be a bystander was, or or somebody in the report that had to say that but still, though, I mean, but still, you know, just like all of I us, didn't read that. all of us, all of us can agree, you know, like you said, all of us can agree if he was to comply with the cops, then that situation would never happen. But then we can also play armchair quarterback and say for everybody else that was in he the same have. situation, the dude that was gunned Why? down, you remember, the, the dude, hold the on, plan. hold on, Why? the dude that was gunned down in the, uh, at the Wendy's. He could have complied, but he didn't. Right. He ran. He was complying. He was complying, but then he started to he run. Started out complying, and right. he started to run, and then he turned around with the with the taser in his hand, and he got gunned down right there. We could say that he could, uh, that he could have complied, and that situation never happened. We could say Trayvon, uh, not Trayvon. We could say uh, Tamir Rice. You know, this is from my hometown. They didn't even give him a chance to comply. They just ran up on him and, and shot him. You see what I'm saying? So at the time, we don't, we, you know, like I said, we could play armchair quarterback because we don't know in reality what's going through either the person that's that's being the victim or the or the cop 
that's coming there. We don't even know which cop we're going to get. Is we going to get calm, mm -hmm. cool? Is we going to get calm, cool, and collective cop? Or is we going to get, or are we going to get the, and and sorry for me saying this, uh, D Nitty, but is we going to get the KKK <laughs> cop? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or are we going to get the, or are we going to get the, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed cop? Which I was one? just going to say, it shouldn't, it doesn't even have to be that. It could be a, 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 a any officer that's just having a bad, that woke the, up and just had a, a, bad a, 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 a bad day. You know, uh, rather is he didn't get it this morning or what may it be. And don't get me wrong. And don't get me wrong. It could be both sides of the fence. It could be a white cop or a black cop because a black cop, right, right. A, black cop got trigger, a black <laughs> cop got trigger fingers too. You know what I'm saying? We just don't, we just don't see it as much and as this you is why, And this is why I say just what I say, you know, as far as, you know, everybody, and I, I get, I get backlash and it's fine because everybody is, you know, had their own opinion. But my opinion is, if we hold each other accountable for what we do, rather it's, I mean, on my job, if I see a, 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 a truck driver that's out there just driving all crazy and, you know, I'm going, I, I have done it and I will do it again and I'm not going to lie to anyone. I'm going to, I'm going to make it to where you realize what you're doing is wrong. Um, so if you don't hold that person accountable in whatever field that you're doing, because it's wrong. And I mean, we have, we have bad people in every field of work there is. Yep. Every field. So let's not take away from it at all just because it's a cop. And I, I mean, I, I don't want to take away from it, period. Because wrong is wrong, and I I, I don't uphold wrong, I, and that's just me. Now let me but ask. Let if me, you start holding, go ahead. Let me ask. Uh, go, no, go ahead and finish your 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 your, your thought. No, I was just going to say if we start holding the good the good workers hold the the bad workers up uh, accountable for what they're doing, and not just stand around and say, "Oh, I ain't got nothing to do with it," and that's just that's with anybody on an every, everyday basis. Oh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That ain't me. That ain't my job. That ain't not. no. You need to say something. I got you. I got you. Now let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Now let's flip. Now let's flip to the flip side because, uh, unfortunate. Well, I guess I, I guess it's not unfortunate or whatever. But for Trayford, uh, situation, not you know we're not hearing of you know the after uh you know like people protesting and stuff like that uh we're we're not oh, yeah we're, they're protesting yeah they're protesting they're protesting. But they're protesting yeah you're right they're protesting but we're not hearing it as much as we're hearing it over in kenosha over, Wisconsin. right right you see right. what i'm saying uh, everywhere else. now right, correct i correct. have a, i have a question for the both of you guys now the black lives matter movement has become a staple now this year I, and it's been heavy heavy this year all right uh the black lives matter movement is 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 uh you know they 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 want justice they want accountability they want peace and they you know and they they protesting they peaceful protesting i got a picture here and i i i, oh. I, I mentioned i mentioned the i, I mentioned the picture to uh K love and hold on right quick here we go i got a picture here and i mentioned i, I mentioned to k love about it there's a, a a guy in a freaking spider-man suit you know standing up there you know with the with the fists you know was standing up there with everybody i don't know about you guys but I felt that that was kind of, I don't know. I, I, I ain't feel, bruh, how the hell can I take you serious, you know, and you standing there with a, with a costume on? <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. I just heard that. I'm, really <laughs> I'm, I'm not feeling that. I, I, I can't take you, I can't take you serious, bruh. I really can't. I don't, I, I don't believe the organization at all. <laughs> I, I, I believe people believe in it, and I believe that there's black people that actually believe in it. 
But that organization, I know, donates everything that they got to every like all the Democratic parties. They haven't given one dollar to any black organization at all, or to help all right, their communities or anything. D, not I'm going to stop you. I want to stop you. Let's not get political. You know how mean you are. I'm not getting you, political. I'm just saying. You know how mean you are when we I believe, get political. I believe people believe in it. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. I know for a fact because I looked yeah. it up. Yeah, they let's, yeah. Let's keep it. Anyone. Let's keep it like that because you know, you know when you know we we could talk <laughs> off. We'll talk offline on our political oh. stuff. But yeah, me and you, oh, you know yeah. this this is my brother. Let me let you guys know about my man D. <laughs> this is my brother. I would give this man the I'm shirt from New York off City, my back. Trust me, ain't no hate over here. Right, I give this man <laughs> the shirt off my back, just like he'll do me. But when it comes to our political beliefs, yeah, we're we're on both sides of the fence with that. So yeah. But we gonna, I, I, uh, I read into people's actions. That's why I, I, I keep it like, you know, like that. Because where I come from, you read, you read people. You read what they do. You know what I mean? So like, if I don't see you doing something, I'm not going to believe, you know, be talking. You know what I mean? Right, me. right. That's where I come from. So, but like, I mean, I believe people are pissed off. I mean, don't get that twisted. Like, I believe they have a right to be. You know, I just don't. As, there's certain, certain as, things. As far as, 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 as far as, and I want to get your opinion on this too, Caleb. As far as you know, the 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 uh, protest goes and all like that. From what I have seen thus far, now don't hate me, guys. Don't hate me. I know a pro- I know a few of you guys probably might want to leave now. Y'all might want to leave now because what I'm about to say probably might hurt you or offend you. But I'm just saying. Then this is from what I see, and it's my opinion. But for the Black Lives Movement thing. Unfortunately, I see more white people oh, protesting with the Black Lives Movement <laughs> thing than I see the black people on the Black Lives Movement thing. K Love, what, what, what's, what's your me, what's your opinion on that? Because you know, I, I have an issue with my people, and I'm gonna I'm gonna claim them only because we have the same color skin and. In some sense, we may have the same mentality, uh, but I may think mine out rational, and they may not think as I, as rational as I would, um, because I'm not saying that I don't or I won't. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'm 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 not, I mean I'm not from here here, but uh, I'm from the hood too, so I had the same mentality. But like I said, from before. I'm not against the bad Black Lives Matter. But the thing about it is, our people, my people, my sisters and brothers, cannot hold each other accountable for the nonsense that we do. So there's not so much that they can say when they don't have as many of us to step out and help each other. So we continue to Pull each other down. Everybody heard of the crabs in the bucket. So uh, that's why you don't see as many us's in the Black Lives Matter. This is what I want to tell you, ask the both of you. How y'all feel about the fact that they have Black Lives Matter, but yet when I'm not going to even go hood on them. When 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 Lil John, when Lil John Junior uh, grows up and he fights um, Lil Calvin across the street and he kill Lil Calvin mm. and nobody wanna walk, nobody wanna mm. do nothing about that, and it's over a video game. Mm. You understand simple. what I'm saying? Something so simple. how you feel about that when you have everybody else out here killing up? Uh, black men behind not even complying, as simple as not complying. You understand what I'm saying? But that was a video game. Mm. And that, it, 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 where where where's the looting at? Where's the where's the where's the riots? It, my where's point the, exactly. Where's the my uh, point exactly? Where's the uh, you're where's looting, the protest? You're looting because one you you're looting because and and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it, it it shouldn't happen. I'm not saying that we shouldn't stand for for something now because if you don't stand for something, you I mean you'll fall for anything. And I'm not the one to fall for anything. 
But now, I am standing. What I'm standing for is if we're going to stand over here, let's stand on everything. No. If we gonna, if you're going to put your, if like they putting their, their, their knees in our necks and all this here killing us, Let's let's put our knee in everybody's neck. Let's let let's not leave out nobody. Okay, okay. Well, what about now? My thing is this. My my thing is this. You know, this been happening. This been happening to men. You know, they, I'm I'm like what D Nitty said. Let's just take the black and white out of it. You know, some you know some people can't mm-hmm. do that though. So mm-hmm. this been happening to men throughout the ages you know what i'm saying all the way back to rodney king all the way back to uh, Re- uh reginald denny uh all the way you know all the, all the way back you know what i'm saying they've been asking for change they've been asking for accountability in the in the, in the in in the police for ages you know black men getting killed by cops white men getting killed by cops you know what I'm saying? People protest. Now, if you protest peacefully, you may see some minor changes. My, maybe maybe some minor changes. You know, the government will look at that and say, okay, well, let's do this. Let's tweak this here. Let's, let's make a law here and let's make a law there. But what I read in the comment is that if you don't mess with the money, if you don't mess with the money, then shit ain't gonna change. If you start messing, if you start with the if you start messing with the money, start messing with uh start messing with quote unquote people's lives, because that's how that's how some people looking at this looting and this and this breaking into places and stuff like that. When you start messing well, with I the agree money, to disagree. Okay. When you start messing with the money. Then the government will start will start standing up and start doing something. Go ahead. So let me ask you this. So you do do we not need police officers? Yes, we do. So if we if we just take away the money <sighs> from 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 these these businesses, which I'm not saying not to. Uh, I mean, let's 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 think let's think it let's think this out. Mm-hmm. You're taking away from these businesses, correct? Mm-hmm. So now you got officers that I mean, you got the police that are saying, okay, well, we're gonna we, we're gonna comply with what y'all asking us to do. We're gonna get rid of these 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 uh the 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 bad cops. So we're getting rid of all the bad cops, and as we all can agree, we all most of us feel that there's more bad cops and there are good, good cops, correct? Yep. yep. Okay. So we have few good cops out here and we have these good cops that's on duty that's trying to help a, a family or what, what, whatever the case may be. But we got this business over here that, that's trying to make it that, that they have all these people coming to their business, the, the only business that's not burnt down on the block. And now you got not we we gonna say just regular people. We're not gonna even put a color in it. We got regular people mad because everybody know when you're hungry or you're tired and you're talking about your money or you're talking about your family and your kids, you get upset. Whatever your whatever your mind frame is, you're upset. So you got these officers down here trying to help one other person. And mind you, we didn't got rid of all the bad cops. We only have a handful of cops. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna how are we gonna rationalize this situation here? Now you're mad because we don't have enough cops to help everybody out here. Mm. What do you do? What 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 I think it's gotta start with people's ahead. behavior, yo. They gotta they gotta they gotta start acting correctly. You know what I mean? You can't run around. My point exactly. My point exactly. You have to start somewhere. Hold your neighbor accountable for the nonsense that they're doing. And then we you know, can start the, working the on the got a lot to do with this. <laughs> go, the go media ahead. only shows, like, like in New York City, let me tell you something, it only happens in certain streets in New York, whether it's actually, like, causing ruckus and stuff in Brooklyn. It's only these certain mm. streets 
it's not all, it's not all over the place with the rioting and stuff. You know, people are protecting their business I, I, and stuff. I, it was at one point, but uh, the, so the media you, will focus on the certain areas. Have you saw the I live there. I live in New York City. <laughs> no, I go there all the time. No, no, I'm 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 gonna have to talk to y'all about that on the because I don't know how a lot of people feel about that. <laughs> But I, I'm a, I'm gonna mention it to I'm gonna mention it to like I and I'm gonna let like I mention it to you, so you know it, it won't be I'm a I'm yeah and and I agree you with you on that on the news on the news has a lot uh, the news has hello whoa hello oh hold on right quick yeah I don't know oh, okay hello uh yeah K- yeah Kayla. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, I'm I'm gonna talk to a, a gentleman on Friday. Uh, you know, uh, and he's he's uh, I'm gonna talk to a gentleman on Friday about uh going into cities that has default uh, am I pronouncing it right? Default police departments and all like that. I'm, I'm going to talk to him about that. But how do you feel about that? Do you, you know, with, with some of these police departments being defaulted now, you know, uh, safety is going to become an issue. You know, I always I always say that the main the main person or persons that be screaming out, hey, you know, F the cops, F them, F the police, yada, yada, yada. They be the same ones. That be needing the police, like, yo, call the cops. Call, you know, you know, call the cops. You know what I'm saying? My my thing is this. We we need, you know, not only that we need accountability. Oh, hold on right quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, uh, Ivan. Yeah, what's going on, brother? Hey, I, I got a topic that I need you to uh to uh chime in on so let me let me bring you in all right uh, how, how long is that take? no two, two seconds two okay. seconds two seconds two okay. seconds okay all right all right okay um d yeah. nitty yo uh k love i'm here ivan yes sir right here present all right ivan in the building yo. y'all what right. up, what up? Ivan, what up? Appreciate uh, it. Ivan from Reby Trucking. I I just need you to chime in on 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 your on your situation because you're a former you're a former cop, you're a former detective, you're a former chief of the St. Louis, Missouri Police Department. I, I want you to nice. come in. I want you to come in and chime on on what you have seen in the uh, in the police department as far as. Uh, try to get rid of bad cops and the situation that's going on in this current state right quick. Uh, what's happening in this current state? I'm going to start with what's going on presently because it's just been a, it's just been a big old boiling pot. Man. Everything comes to the head. You know, when things start to boil, start to go over the pot. So that's what's happening. Now, let me ask you something. Uh, is, you, is you talking about, is you talking about the Jacob Blake shooting or the, uh, or the, um, uh, or the uh Trey uh the Trayford Pillarin shooting or both of them. Brother, I'm representing every last one of them because every last life counts. Okay. Every last life is important. Every well, last one of them. So yeah, the last one. Mm-hmm. And probably uh I'm speaking for what's probably gonna happen in the future. It ain't gonna stop until we stop it. We gotta forcefully stop it. All that marching and all that, we ain't getting nowhere. We ain't getting nowhere. So uh you know, our hand is being forced to do some other things, and you, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, you take my son out, uh, then you know we got we got a uh, <laughs> we got a protest situation. How you handle it? Mm-hmm. So instead, my thing is with the people, man. Instead of burning down everything, bring that guy that did that, the cop that brought that that killed that that guy. Bring him out front. That's what we need to get. Bring yeah, him out front. You. Stop burn, don't burn down burn. your city because you need you need the you need the city. Bring him out front because some of them cops they got a job to do. They wasn't the ones who pulled the trigger. They need to bring that man out front and 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 handle that according, however that may be. So you been um, now you talking about the now now Jacob is still alive. Trayford is the one that's dead. All right, so the Jacob 
is uh is in serious condition right now. Uh, he was the one that got shot in the back by that one cop. But now you being now you you know being a former uh you know law enforcement yourself, what have you seen in your department that you try to clean up? Because you know as we can agree. Uh, me and K Love and D Nitty, as we can all agree, there has been an abundance of bad cops. What they, right. what, what, right. Did they, what, yeah. what, what, what have you seen, and what have you tried to do to clean up your your department? I'm fine. I'm gonna get rid of. Them. I find them on the spot. I don't play games, man. When it comes to my community, when it comes to people, period. And if you're a human being, you're supposed to treat and respect the human being like they should be respected. Um, my thing is the police officers are forgetting what their title, their, their, their original name of a police officer is what? A peace officer. Mm -hmm. So you should approach every situation humbly and peacefully until your, your hand is pulled in the wrong direction. Then you gotta, then you gotta, uh, uh, you gotta use your force continuum, but you have to think while you're using that. It's, it's split second decisions, uh, that have to be, that you have to make decisions on. But you're a peace officer first, man. What what happened to being peaceful with the community? The, the community you should love your community, love the citizens, love anybody who's visiting in this country, who, who who's raised in this community. Like what happened to that? So that's the problem. They're not approaching the situation peacefully. They're approaching this situation. You know, they're scared. If you if you're scared, why be a cop? If you're scared, why don't you be a swim instructor or some shit? You know what I'm okay. saying? All right. Andre. Now before uh -oh. you, hey, now, now now before I let you go, uh before I let you go, uh 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 Ivan, uh uh comment that just came just came through. He says, uh, do everyone really understand what they mean uh what they mean when they say defund the police department? What what do they mean by that, uh Ivan? And then uh K Love, you can you can come in. Okay. okay. Well, they talk Okay, when they talk about defunding the, the police department, they're talking about, uh, you know, usually the chief of police and the city managers get together with the mayor and they apply for federal grants. And the federal grants are able to allocate money towards the department for its equipment, uh, uh, training, uh, you know, vehicles and stuff like that, weapons, more bulletproof vests. So when you defund the, uh, the police department, uh, you're going to take away those things from the police department. Now, my, my thing is if you defund the police department, now you're going to start a, you may start an atmosphere of corruption because now the police, the police department don't have the funds to operate uh, in a good capacity. So now they may be forced to, they may they may make make some bad decisions when they come in contact with drug dealers because they don't have the money to fund the police department. Mm. Okay, love. Okay, so uh, okay. Then so, you want to send um, in social Ivan. workers and psychologists. What? Oh, hold on, K Love. Okay. Go, come on in, K Love. Okay, Ivan. I want, like I do, everyone, um, like I did, be made it. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm hold that up real bad. But um, I want to thank you for your service. I do. I want to let everybody know that I'm for anyone who is actually doing you. what they're supposed to do. You know, peacefully. Um, I appreciate. It. Yes. No problem. Thank you for your service. Um, but I have two questions for you. One. My first question was, what, what do you mean by candle it? Uh, what was your word? How did you, how did you put that? Handle it hands on? Was that what you said? No, for, on? Uh, for the thing. Okay. Yeah. So can so, you explain so to you, me what you mean by that? What, what are you, what are you saying that we need to do to correct it? So, so for the thing is based off criteria where if officers is met with threat, then they usually uh, address the situation with the same threat, like deadly force. If somebody's shooting at the police, mm -hmm. or if, if they, they press the gas on the car or truck or vehicle, and they're going towards police officer, that's, that, that's deadly force. So now the officer is legally able to use deadly force uh, against somebody. But what's been happening is a lot of people are, uh, a lot of stories are, are being made up by some cops, not all. That hey, I use deadly force because I felt my life was my life was in danger. Mm -hmm. How how is my life in danger when this guy's just peacefully walking off? If you let mm -hmm. the guy, you already got his information, you mm -hmm. already got his uh, his name. Mm -hmm. Well, you just catch back up with him. Why keep an engage? Why keep engaging with someone when it can become a a very you know uh, bad situation for both parties? Mm -hmm. 
Kayla. Okay. Um, and my second question was on um, the fact of, uh, well, it wasn't a question. It was, um, so if, if they take away the funds and um, they don't have the funding, um, that will cause a lot of corruption. So when, when you... If you defund, not only if you defund the, the, because within this situation here, um, I can remember hearing them state that those officers do not have body cam. So when you defund the uh, police force or the police officers, that's taken away, like you stated, a lot of the equipment that they're having to help. Um, and I know it really doesn't help because a lot of crooked officers will take they they'll take the cameras off and set them down or what what may be. But it's either way, it's not helping. I mean, so if you uh, he asked you what you felt would be a thing, uh, a, thing, a better way to fix this whole situation out of your out of your. I know you say you fired them on hand. But when you fire them, I made the statement earlier, when you fire them, you don't have that many officers. So what do you do then? Well, you uh, usually uh, in, in, on the command staff, you're chief, because the chief is the CEO of the police department. Um, you have applications, and you have to pre, you have to pre-plan. Like, it, you know it may become a time where you may have to get rid of officers. I mean, it's just part of any job. Uh, but you... You have a retention file, so you know if if you feel that a police a guy's a good candidate to be a police officer, and he's next in line. So you get rid of the bad seed, and you hopefully you're planting a good seed. And um, so you always got to have a plan B after plan A. You got you got to keep having plans after certain plans because yeah, some officers are going to actually leave and go to other departments. Some officers are are, are going to be terminated behind bad shooting, behind uh, assault bad decisions. But also I want to point out as well, you say we're talking about defunding the police department. So you got to look at this situation like what happens when the neighborhood is getting defunded, like in the black community and some of these disenfranchised communities around the United States. When it, when, when, when our communities are defunded, what happens? Okay, we, we, we you know, the drugs come in, you know, the corruption comes in. Uh, that's what happens. So the same thing will happen to the police department. And we also need social workers, um, human serve better human services uh, alone that work coincide with the, with the police department, with the police chief. So I was the type of chief I got out there, and I stood side by side with each person in the community, gang members, uh, you know, people that had a hard time. And I told them, hey, I care, so let's try to get this straight. Let's try to straighten the situation up for you. So that's why I had I had a good rapport with the community as best as I could. That's good, man. So, That's great. Yeah. Ivan, before you get up out of here, man, because I know you're busy, so I appreciate you coming in and chiming in right quick. No, but before you get up out of no here, problem. man, I, I want to know in your opinion or, you know, you being a being a former cop and a former detective in that situation. Um, now, I know this is probably kind of a hard question to ask because, you know, like I said, you know, I, I feel that you cops are, are wired different. But if you was if if you was in any of those situations, what would you have done differently? I would handle the situation a lot differently. Just because somebody walking away don't mean I got to put seven bullets in their back. A bit, matter of fact, every situation that you guys have seen on TV, I've been in them. I've been in every situation that we're looking in on, looking at on TV, and I know that situation could have been handled differently. Just because I got police on my chest don't make me Superman. Matter of fact, we need to come down a level uh, in reference to our citizens. We need to let them understand, hey, we're here for you. We're not trying to make the situation worse. So what's, the problem is people walk around with their chest pumped up, hey, I'm the police, I'm Superman. No, you ain't. You're a peace officer. What's wrong with being peaceful? And that's the problem. Ms. Ivan, before you leave, can I ask you how many... Uh, young boys you have at home? I mean, young boy, I have I have one son. I have five one kids, son. though. 
Okay. Your your son, your son. Do you teach him? What do you teach him as far as what you've been seeing on um, TV with most of the corruption going on at schools? You know, the killing of the young black men um, nowadays that we have going on. What what? How how do you start your conversation with your your son as a police officer, chief, and with your background? How do you start off your conversation? Because I'm quite sure it's a whole lot different from um, what what Lockout would have to talk to his his son about. I tell him always be humble, uh, walk in faith, but be humble. Usually, when you walk in humbleness, you can always make it back home to mom and dad, to exactly. your family. And then, if if some crazy happens, then you report that. To the family, we need to push a little bit further. Go to the lawyer, go to the media, whatever. But be humble. And my son, he's already a humble person because you know he didn't get that from mind. me and, and his family. You know his mom. So uh, just told him be be humble, hard working, and honest. And usually, uh, a good soul can tell a good soul. So uh, if you have a problem with a, a humble soul like that, then you shouldn't be a police officer. You shouldn't be a peace officer at all. Exactly. They're here to protect, <coughs> which is part of being a peace officer. And to serve, what happened to that? So, what if your son so, told you what? What if he if he asked you about the the situations with um, that he's seen on TV, and he and he he may say, "Well, Dad, he what if he was humble? What 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 do what 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 do I do?" And okay, which you know, sometimes you got to fight fire with fire. I mean. You know, it, yeah, I'm gonna say yes because it, it does. I mean, what what what's what what what's what, what more? What has Martin done for us in the last fifty years? Well, I'm I didn't I, I didn't you right I didn't name I didn't say about Martin I was I actually was to make it better. Yes, fighting yes, fire with fire. How is that? Because it, it because it, it it let them it let the the. The officer that's treating people really bad and hurting people and killing people out there is letting them know, hey, you know, this is a new day. We ain't taking it no more. And, so, and, you and know, the, and they hurt us, and we the, hurt them. I'm not saying, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying do it in a different way. It's a it's different, I mean, it's more ways, it's more than one way to skin a cat. I got, you know what? So, I, so give me, I, I, no, hold on, hold on, like I told, and I'm, I, I hear you. I just want to give me a prime example of that because I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I'm for it, but I, I need to, I need an image. Give me an image. Okay, image, image, an image, an image would be like if something like that, Lord forbid, something like that happens with one of our sons or something like that, or one of your kids or somebody that we know. And as me being a prior chief of police, you don't think I know other prior chief of police? And we can band together. You don't think I know people in the media? I know I know judges that used to uh, I know city attorneys that used to work for me. Used to work for the city. Okay. So we'll we'll okay. band together. So this little small incident, this this will go natural real quick. Okay, but what if there's somebody that doesn't have as much um, you know, as much of information as they as you have? And what what do they do? How how do they get it out? How do they get it across? I and I'm I'm, I'm speaking for somebody who wants to change the situation and they don't know how. So maybe they're reaching out and trying to figure out. Maybe what what I'm asking can help somebody else. I I think. Yeah, I what if think, they don't have the What if they don't have the 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 you know the references to go to like you? You know. Yeah. And that's I I, I think Hold that's like I let me get this from the chief. I'll, let me get this. He has a better <laughs> he has a better a background than you. I'm sorry. I'm not trying. I'm 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 with you. I'm just a truck driver. But I he he has a police officer, uh, peace officer. He said, uh, background. I want to get it from him. What what what, um, Mr. Ivan? Go ahead. Yeah, he would. Um. Hopefully you have the uh, the network. The network will probably reach out. Sometimes with situations like that happen, and people don't have the network to help them. And like myself, if I see situations like that, I'll reach out to that person because I have done that before. Now I'm only one person. I can only help so many people. So what I would do, I would refer that to somebody else. If my hands are already full, to where they can get they can get help. They can get good help and get represented really well. Because some people don't have a don't have a voice. 
So we have to be right. their voice sometimes. Pe- people with with a deep network, sometimes we got to be their voice. And some people are just scared. Of, and, and, and and I used to be one. I used to be a victim. Correct. Right. Correct. I used to be, I, I was a victim of uh, police misconduct most of my life until I became a cop. So I've been called the N-word so many times. I, I was told by a cop that I'll kill you. Uh, the end. He called me. I'll, he said, "I'll kill you in, and I'll throw you in the field like we've done uh, some of the other ends before." So I know this dude was lying, yeah. you know. So, so that that's what made me become an officer. I say, man, it's got to change, man. Somebody got to show the people that there's some hope out here. That everybody ain't the same. It, it it threw me for a loop when that happened to me. Threw me for a loop. Okay. I couldn't believe it. So, y'all, I got a roll. All right, man. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you for your, your, your... Oh, go ahead. Would you... Later, most bro. definitely. Most definitely. And I... God bless y'all. Y'all be safe out here now, right? I... Thank I... you. You be safe out there. I appreciate you, Ivan. Thank you. Uh, D Nitty, K Love. Yo. I'm, I'm going to... Uh... Gonna have to gonna have to go ahead and uh end this episode, man. Uh great conversation from the from 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 the both of y'all. Uh welcome, you know, welcome everybody from the uh LOM community. Uh all in all, I, I just think that, you know, there's there is changes that needs to be made all across the all across the field. There's need there's changes that needs to be made. There's, um, of course, like K Love said, there's con- accountability that needs to be made on all sides, not just, not just the law enforcement side. It needs to be made on media, all sides. Everything. You know, media, law enforcement, the people. It needs to be accountability on all uh, sides. So that's my that's that's my ending statement. D Nitty, what's yours? I got. You, I'm, I'm not going to get into it too deep, but you know, you, you remember the Detroit shooting thing? I think you said you know, really want to bring it up. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And then it said the, the, the news said <coughs> white racist cop shoots down black kids. And I'm like, that's so fucked up. Part of my franchise, you know? But, uh, but the truth was is that the white cop was arresting the one kid who was wanted for murder, and then his boy, which is a black kid, of course. Open fire, put a gun to his head and, and missed. I don't know how he missed. And it was a black officer who sh- had his back and shot the other, you know, the black kid for trying to shoot the officer in the head. And then, and then there was a big ride over it, and he had no gun. And, and by then, he was like, oh, he had no gun, but he seen the body cam footage. You know what I mean? And clear as day, he had a pistol. And he shot and he fired it. You know, and he fired at everybody else. So, what's, the, what's, unfortunately, he got shot down. What's, what's the, Detroit. but what's, but, what we need, but to- that's the media right there. The media focused on black and white, and and, and, oh. and that's all they said. And, and it wasn't even true at all. It was not even true. I got and, you. And they're just trying to divide us as people. You know what I mean? As like mm-hmm. regular mm-hmm. citizens. The whole thing, the whole focus on this was was bad cops, and now it's just it's just branching out to civilians and other other regular citizens and people just stand next to you. You know what I mean? Which that it shouldn't even be like that. That's that's my issue. I got you. You know, if it's about cops, keep it with cops. K Love, you know what I mean. K Love, what's uh, what's what's your end <clears throat> ending statement on all of this? Well, my ending statement is, I mean, um, at the end of the day, everybody needs to, um, you know, really just pretty much like 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 Officer Ivan said or Detective, um, just just be humble, be humble, you know, um. Every 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 action has a reaction, and that goes for anybody. All right, all right. Follow command. Yeah. Follow command. Every every everybody everybody has a life. Everyone wants to live. You know you know what I mean. So you just gotta you gotta act right, yo. Like love thy neighbor, like Jesus says, yo. You know what I mean, and that's it. All right, all right. You know? D Nitty uh, and Kayla. Oh, go ahead, Kayla. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm send, I'm sending this over to you so you can send it over to uh, D Nitty. Oh, okay. Um, give it, give with him, um, D Nitty, and make sure you watch all ten of these and get back with me and let me know what you think. Okay. All right, yeah, D Nitty and K Love. Nice meeting you.
same to you. Don't mess with Kate Love because she, like, yes, she just focused on shooting you down right there. She's like, don't talk. The original <laughs> Kate Love. You know what I'm saying? The original <laughs> K-Love. That's my girl right there. The original, Houston's baby. Home. The original. All right, everybody. I appreciate all you guys joining us today in this uh, hot topic conversation. Uh, and just know that it's all of our opinions. None, none of this is, you know, none of this. It's only our opinions, all right? So don't get mad at none of us, all right? Uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. So if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. Yo, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. If you go on to support your boy, yo, hook me up. Cash app, lockout men, dollar sign, lockout men, and the coffee app. It's in the it's in the description. Hook your boy up with some coffee. Support the channel. You know what I'm saying? I do appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate K Love, D Nitty, and my man and my special guest Ivan for chiming in. You guys have a blessed day. I will come back at you with another Lockout Man podcast. You guys take it easy, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace. <laughs>